All right, I'm down here at the lake, and it's like 70 some degrees out right now. It's April something, like late April, and it is, the lake is like crawling with frogs, snakes, turtles. I haven't caught one yet, but I've seen two snakes, and I've seen at least four bullfrogs and one turtle. They're all in this cut down weed stuff. But we'll come back. I'll go to where the other snake was real quick. And then we'll come back. We'll give them those frogs and everything time to come back up. Everything's like so sensitive right now just because they've only been at the lake for a couple of days. Just because it's been too cold and it's finally starting to act like spring and summer. So, <clears throat> but once again, I hope that you guys enjoyed your spring break. I know I did. I'm planning on making a video about it. Uh, don't know when. This might go up before it or after it. I don't really know. Okay, the snake was right up in here. I don't know where he is now. Hopefully I can at least get him on camera. He was right in there. That's where like he slivered in at. That's a freaking swan's nest right there. So I'm just hoping that they don't nest here all year or all summer. Because if they do, I'm not gonna be able to oh I see a frog. But if they nest here all summer, I'm not gonna be able to come over here. And this is where all the frogs and snakes go. The frog is right there in the center of that. It's a small one, but I'm gonna go for him. I only got one hand, but uh, there's my net. I'll get it off camera so I can put my phone away. And yeah, we'll see. I'll let you know if I got him. Peace. I choked. As soon as I swiped my net after him, he jumped in instantly. I have not. All right, sorry, some random kid. I think from our neighborhood started talking to me. Whoa, why is that so blurry? There we go, focus. Jesus. I'm going back down here. Snakes are what we want to try to catch today. So, oh, definitely the hardest thing to catch around here. That's for sure. Alright, give you guys a look first. I don't know if you guys can see anything, probably not. But I'm gonna go out and look. I don't see any, and I don't really want to go in right here just because of how mushy it is and everything. There's all these, all this tall grass where all these snakes can hide, and I hate that just because there is cotton mouse around here. But I have these big boots on, so I'm hoping that'll protect me. Will Stew's out playing basketball right now. Isaac Stewart, whatever. I collabed with him once. Go check it out. Alright, so on this dude's boat, right in that bush right there, is where the snake was. He slithered down into here, into the water from up here. And, um,. Obviously you can't see him. But I'm gonna keep heading down here because I haven't been down here yet. I hope this guy's okay with me using his yard. I don't think I've ever been down this far. I'm just gonna yeet that thorn branch out of the way. It's stuck on my pants. 
my shorts, whatever. God dang, bro. I'm gonna get something. I'm gonna get something. I'm by myself, though. And I'm usually with my brother. But whenever I film these, I'm always by myself just because he doesn't like to be on camera and that kind of crap. I see some movement up here. I'm not sure if it's a minnow or what it is. Oh god, that's a rabbit. Oh Jesus Christ, dude, a rabbit just ran out from that bush. Oh my god. Oh. Jeez. Oh dang, there goes a bullfrog. Frick. You guys might have saw that actually. Dang. Jesus Christ, I don't think you guys saw a rabbit, but oh my god. Sorry, I had to itch my back. Oh my god, bro. Fudging rabbit. That scared the crap out of me. That was worse than having a bulldog or a snake come out. And I got stuck by the foreign branch. Oh, that went in there deep. Wow, I got stuck right on this hand too. Ow! Well, that hurt. Alright, I'll be back once we see something. There's a toad right in the center of your screen. You guys can probably see him. I hope. There you go again, right there. And try to get him. We'll see if I do. Alright, or if I choke again. Alright, peace. So I choked yet again. You get a focus. Thank you. Alright, there's a toad over there. So, yeah, it's just a small little toad, so, you know, it's fine if I choke. Honestly. It's just, I'm not gonna like go in after a toad or something so but I will try to get the one over here I've seen two jump in over here I, those might have been frogs actually jumped in but that one over there is most definitely a toad I can tell by the color on him yeah and the way he's moving he's moving really slow okay I'm just gonna try getting him in the net here And if not, I'll try again with my hands. Okay, I'm just going in with my hands. He's pretty slow. Actually, no, never mind, dude. He's freaking fast. Dang. Okay, well, he's in this little pool somewhere. That's perfect for me. Oh, there's another one in here. Or maybe that's just the same one. I don't know, but I see him. He's right in here. I'm going to get him out. Got him. We have gotten the toad. And my glasses just came off. My glasses are currently broken right now. So, yeah. Anyways, let's set him down. Let's take a look at him. Got some nice raccoon prints right here. There's the toad. Making all kinds of noises. Focus. Okay, there we go. That's a size comparison to my hand. Here, I'll do that again. Oh, God. He's pretty small, but that's all. Oh, I can hear all his little buddies calling for him. Yeah, you guys probably hear that too. That. Yeah. Anyways, it's pretty neat. Got a toad. So, say hi, buddy. What is he doing, bro? Stop struggling so much. These toads that are in the water, dude, they're so much more, like, not as calm stuff. I'm going to let him go. I'm going to put him in the water and watch him. All the toads usually don't go in the water and swim. There he goes. 
He's safe for now. Alright. We'll see if I get anything else. Alright, what's going on? You can see guys, see that duck right there? Why does it look so far away? Alright, but anyways, you guys see that duck right there? That duck's blind. He's been around for three years now at this lake, and I've only lived here for almost four years. So yeah, this, this will be my fourth summer living here, and I've seen him the last three summers. So that's pretty cool to know that that blind duck is still here. But yeah, that's just a little side note thing. Haven't found anything else besides that toad. But anyways, we'll, we'll be back once I do find something. Peace. All right, guys, I see a frog's head. You probably can't see it, but it's right there. I'm focusing on it. I don't know if you can see it. Right, like right in the center of your screen. See if you can find it. But I'm gonna try to get him. All right, I'll keep the camera on. So then if he jumps, you guys will see it, hopefully. That is most definitely a frog. Ah, he just went in. Okay, I, I'm not gonna give up. I'm gonna go in after him. I'm looking for any other frogs before I go in. All right, we're good. Yeah, that was most definitely. Okay, there went another one down there. Come on, buddy, just wait. I'm not even to you yet. How deep is it right here? Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm not getting him. It's way too deep. I'll never be able to get him. So I don't know where he went or any of that. But anyways, I'll keep looking. Hope you guys saw that jump. Or just go in the water or whatever. Hope you guys saw him. Anyways, peace. Oh my gosh, look at what I found, guys. Look what I found. A dead fish. Ha ha. Can I zoom out of that? Ha ha, I found a dead fish. Oh. It's actually kind of disgusting. Ugh. I saw those frogs down there, and then... I saw a little turtle, and as soon as I went to get out my phone, so I could show you guys, in the water he goes off the log. So, sorry about that, but uh, we'll get him. Alright boys, I'm heading back from the lake. I was over here for like an hour, probably got like 15 minutes of footage maybe. But, we caught a toad, so that's cool, that'll probably be the title of the video, not kind of toad lake adventure part whatever but anyways um I th i'm glad that the lake is has snakes turtles frogs toads all that it has fish as well i can go fishing if you guys want me to but you guys have to like, if you want to see me go fishing it's gonna I'm gonna need a probably a cameraman so I don't know maybe I'll do it when I have my friends over or something but obviously you guys probably know I do all my YouTube stuff by myself I don't have any cameraman unless my brother agrees to be my cameraman for a video but um yeah we caught a toad today so that's cool. It's obviously nothing special. In the first lake adventure, I caught two toads. Well, we caught one today, but it's nice to see that there's so many different animals over there right now. Cause that means that when it's summer, and it's even hotter, even nice out, even more nice out. There will be plenty of things over there and plenty of things for me to catch. But they were all just way too alert and everything today. And sensitive just because no one's been over there for a year. So, but it is nice to see that there's stuff over there. So that's really cool. I'm sure we'll get something big this year. I'm gonna keep making these. I enjoy making these videos so much. Now it'd be really helpful if you guys could just show that you enjoy them too. I know in the second Lake Adventure, nothing happened. I didn't, or I didn't catch anything. But this one, 
definitely cost something. So you guys need to show some support. If it gets five likes, I'll be out here within the next month making another one. All right, five likes. Five likes, I'll drop another one, and I'll catch something. The more you like the video, the better my chances are to catch something big, like a snake, a giant snake. I caught one last year, huge. Six foot snake, it was nuts, bro. So yeah, like the video, we'll have better odds to catch some big stuff. Comment down below what you wanna see me catch. Cause that'd be cool too. Anyways, peace out boys. Enjoy the rest of your day and enjoy your Easter. I hope you enjoyed your Easter. Yeah, peace out boys.